Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Data importers, in this tutorial we are simplifying data transfer. Join me as I guide you through the process of importing Excel data into Monday.com in 2024. Whether you are migrating projects or updating information, the step-by-step -step guide has got you covered. So let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the first thing that I will need you to do is to simply head up to Excel, of course, first, and create a blank workspace. So here we go, as you can see right here, we have this workspace and I'm going now to start making a table that we're gonna import it eventually to our uh, Monday account. So in this workspace we will need for example to do a to-do list so here task um, here um, details uh, employee employees here so I'm gonna fix that yep somewhere around that here I'm gonna add for example um, employees I'm gonna add also something very important which is the priority and the due dates and of course the status so here I'm gonna fix that to be something big and very flexible so I need them to be all uh, like so I need to add some spacing in here some spacing in here some spacing in here some kind of spacing in here some kind of space in here and some kind of space in. let's put them all in the middle so there we go and now I'm gonna make like a border around them so this is perfectly gone so now I'm going to add here three different tasks so I'm gonna add three different tasks as you can see so there we have them let's add a board to them and here let's add for example game development so it is the task number one here sound effects let's add them so as you can see here um, what else should we add for example we should add um, game design maybe yeah game design or uh, map arts map arts and yeah this is for the main task that we have so what I want to do exactly now is to give some details so here I'm just gonna like make it at least like so I'm gonna leave these details empty I'm just gonna add some coloring into it here the employees let's add here um, like name so Alex team here uh, Alejandro team and here Sarah team for example so these are gonna be the main uh, teams that I'm gonna use here the priority let's make important uh, normal uh highly uh, crucial let's add it here crucial so here crucial is going to be in yellow and black background it's going to be in the middle here for normal it's just going to be normal white color and uh something like that i don't think this color is visible so i'm going to use this one all right and important is basically going to be using this blue color with this uh, blue background so something around that and all of them should be in the middle here the due date let's put here any norm any random date so 24 10 and here for example uh, 0 fee and yeah let's change that to be 24 and let's copy this and paste it right here so 24 25 26 and here basically done uh, working on and here issue so this one is going to be in red as you can see right here let's put it in red the color also has to be uh, for example white I think yep that's good here working on it's going to be something like so and the background is going to be yellow and this one like here I'm going to change that to be this color and done is basically gonna be green so let's add the green color and here we go 
let's add something like that and this is perfect so this is exactly what we want to have as our table in Monday so now what can we do to actually export it well we have to first actually color everything here this is very important the color is not only for design but it's also for the system to detect each column because here for example this is the only column that is white uh, because there is no problem of leaving some column in white here I have to remove everything that I'm not gonna need for example if I had here something uh, written in the bottom of my actual uh, form well then i will have a very big problem because this thing is also going to be imported with the table which is the one right here so put that in mind guys you don't really want to have these mistakes happening to you so remove everything let's just simply save it uh, more option i want it to be saved for example uh, more option here so let's save it somewhere else i'm not gonna save it anywhere on desktop uh, let's choose let's name it excel import all right let's save it and now let's go ahead to our on the account now let's go to a new kind of workspace so let's go to our space i'm gonna name it here excel importation and here simply just click on add workspace let's click on here so we don't have to create actually a board by clicking here I'm just gonna ignore it and go right here on the top right corner where you find your icon and click on import data after that you have all these options from Excel Google Sheets Trello Asana Basecamp Facebook Ads Zendesk uh, Jira Jira Server Data Center you have all of these to be used between your hands so make sure to use any one of these for me I'm going for example for this one so Excel because of because our video is about Excel then I'm going to go for quick access and Excel import let's customize and this is the first row that we want and what is your first column exactly what we want text column so this one is status column uh, status column here also status column and here date column so exactly what we wanted so here this one settings uh, you can change whatever you want but yeah basically here we have details we have employees we have priority we have the due dates and we have the status so here you have the items so there we go we have here the tasks so here the details employees priority due dates and the status everything that we made in excel has been imported here successfully they have changed the colors the way they like to be in their ui but in general this is the table and this is how it looked like in our excel sheets so guys that was it for today's video I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.